Hi there, you're welcome back to Code with Uncle Big B. If you are planning to learn how to code in 2024, then you are in the right place. In this video, I'm going to be sharing five things you should know before you start learning how to code in 2024. Number one, learning to code is a marathon and not a sprint. Coding requires a solid foundation, just like building any great structure. It requires you to take your time to build your coding knowledge step by step without rushing away from the basics. Learning how to code can take up to three to six months or more before you have the required set of skills that will make you job ready. So if you are not patient or don't have the time, then maybe learning how to code isn't the best for you at the moment. But if you have the time but don't know where to start, no worries. That's why on this channel, I've started a series where I'll be providing guides and tutorials that you can follow for the next three to six months. And that brings me to my second point. Start with front end. There are many fields in the coding industry and if you don't know where to start, start with front end. Front end is the most accessible part of any application. This is what you see when you visit a website or mobile apps, unlike the back end that is not physically or readily accessible. Learning front end first helps you to develop a visual understanding and user experience intuition of how website and mobile apps works. This is valuable for any tech field you might want to exploit later in the future. Also, there are more job opportunities for junior front-end developers compared to junior back-end or machine learning developers. The third thing to focus on before learning how to code in 2024 is focus on building projects. Build as many projects as possible while you are learning how to code. This is important to solidify your understanding of what you've been practicing. And also, this helps you have projects that you can showcase to potential employers when they need a rights. And for every project that you build, you will be able to learn one or two things from it that you can take to the next level project. Number four, put yourself out there or build in public. Don't build in total isolation. Building and sharing the progress of a project in public is the easiest way in which you can sell yourself and also showcase what you can do. This makes it easier for people who require your skill set to locate you. Take your online presence serious by leveraging social media platforms like X, Facebook, Instagram, your WhatsApp status, and LinkedIn to share progress of what you are learning and to showcase what you are building. Don't worry about likes and comments. All your progress posts on social media will save you from unnecessary job interview questions later in the future. By building in public, if a recruiter requests you to be the project or features that you've built before, you can easily make reference to the project or share links or source code of the project with the recruiter and then they can ask you questions based on it. I mean, they've seen what you've built in public, there is a low tendency that they will ask you to build something similar for job interviews. Number five, document your learning journey. Another way to put yourself out there and sell yourself is by documenting your learning journey. Documenting your journey as a beginner has several benefits and you can approach this in several ways. You can write about new concepts or topics you just learned, which is good for knowledge retention because if you can write it, then you understand it. You can also write about your challenges and wins while learning how to code. Other benefit of documenting your learning journey is that it helps you build a professional personal brand that makes you stand out amongst other beginners. This shows that you are consistent and authentic. You can create a free blog on platforms like Ashnode, customize it to your preference, and start publishing what you've learned, your experience, and things you build. So that's it for the five things you should know before learning how to code in 2024. With these five things in mind, you are ready to embark on your coding journey in 2024. If you want to build your web development skills step by step in 2024, ensure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification for my upcoming coding tutorial series for beginners. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Okay, guys, I'm looking directly into the camera now. Do you think this is better compared to? staring at my screen or looking at the bottom of the camera or looking at both the camera.